Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Doran Sports. I'm joined by the New South Wales coach, Matthew Mott. Thanks for coming on the show. Pleasure. It's been uh, an up and down start to the summer here in, in Australia. How's the team mentally at the moment? Uh, very good, yeah. I think uh, today was a good day. It was uh, grinding cricket, um, hard fought, and I think we, we come out of it pretty well. So it sets it up for the rest of the game tomorrow, starting up, and uh, have the boys uh, put their head down, hopefully we get a total. Yeah, and let's hope. Come in so. and take 20 wickets. Coming back from the Champions League trophy, uh, it was a phenomenal victory for New South chance. Wales. Has it been hard to, to get the, the players' minds back into focus? No, not really. I think uh, you know we've, we've come here with uh, plenty to play for. There's a big summer coming up, um, and you know, that's that's over now. It's the guys that are back in Australia, and we're back to reality. And um, you know, we really want to improve our one day, especially in our shield cricket. Uh, it was disappointing last year. We played well in patches, but we've got a young group coming through, and we're hoping to, to challenge in all three formats. How hard is it for the international players to come in, to come out? Is it difficult for the young players to be to be placed on the sidelines? Yeah, it, it can be. I mean, it's something we talk about a lot. Is um, you know, you can be going very well as an individual and miss out purely because um, you know we've got players coming back. But you know, there's enough games in the season, and uh, guys have to make the most of the opportunity. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty common thing that if you do well here at, for New South Wales, then you're a good chance of going on to the next level. So being surrounded by good players is is obviously a great learning curve and something we try and encourage the guys to sap up while they can. Now you've been coached for the New South Wales side for a, for a little while now. Have you got aspirations of coaching in the international scene in some time? Uh, not, not really, not immediate plans. Obviously I've got another two years to go here with New South Wales. I only signed up again last year. So, so it's something I'm really trying to learn as much as I can while I can. Uh, surrounded by good players and, and a great structure here. And I think uh, whilst you're learning and, and, and trying to improve yourself and get yourself ready for the next level, it's always a good thing. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us here on Doran Sports and best of luck in New South Wales for you. Pleasure. Thanks, Christy. Cheers, Cheers mate. Hey, and welcome to Doran Sports. I'm joined by New South Wales star opening batsman Phil Jakes. Thanks for coming on the show. Great. Thank you. Yeah, very well, thank you. Major back injury. How big an effort was for you to come back and be full of fit? Yeah, pretty big effort, obviously, three rehabs and uh, three back surgeries, so uh, a lot of time out of the game, but, um, you know, the hunger's still there and just put the full bit back in. You, you were playing for Australia and, and performing extremely well for the Australian side. Have the selectors at all spoken to you about future representation? Uh, not at all, to be honest. The communication's a little bit on uh, the slow side, uh, pretty much with all players, I think. But, uh, yeah, no, it's um, just back story runs and getting back into playing cricket and um, going forward. Well, probably going to be opening the batting tomorrow. Are you feeling confident about, about the day? Yeah, feeling pretty confident. Glad we didn't have to bat in the dark tonight. Uh, very good to be out there and um, you know, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I can knock, knock a few runs up tomorrow and um, the boys can, can chase down 500. Well, thanks very much for joining us on the show and best of luck in the season. Max, Jill Clark, thanks for coming on the show. No worries, uh, you just came back from the victorious 2020 Championship. How big a thrill was it for you to uh, be part of that? Oh, I mean, it was great fun. Uh, I think all the guys were there, had a good time. We won the, you know, we won the tournament for New South Wales. And I think uh, everyone that went can currently say that they enjoyed themselves and we'll do it again at a half. Yeah, I'd love to be in the test team uh, come the first test match. Uh, hopefully I can get a few more wickets tomorrow and then in the second innings and then uh, give myself every opportunity. But uh, that's up to the selectors and I have to wait until... Have the selectors at all spoken to you about the prospects for the first test? No, I haven't spoken to any of them. I don't know what the story is. Uh, I will. Uh, I think uh, it's a selector here on duty, so if I get a chance, I'll speak to him. But uh, we'll have to wait. One day cricket, you've been tagged as, as predominantly a test player. Does that frustrate you somewhat? Oh, it used to, not anymore. Uh, it's just the way it is. The selectors probably see me now as more of uh, a longer version cricketer. Uh, it's just the way I like this. I can't do anything about it. Joining us in Doran Sports, I'm here with Stephen Smith, New South Wales, and an Australian up and coming player. Thanks for coming on the show. A brilliant uh, 2020 domestic tournament victory over in India. Yeah, it was a second time over there. I was with the online and the players and the players. So, yeah, it's good to be starting with the same area. You just came back from the 2020 tournament and you're now playing the four day version. How have you adjusted to the uh, the changing bowling environment? Yeah, it's a little bit different, I guess. Uh, I think it's our tournament once we go with us. So, we're going to get used to it. We're going to get used to it. We're going to get used to it. It's a massive season for you personally. You, uh, selectors have, have said that they really want to focus on your, on your spin bowling. Have you felt any pressure on yourself? Uh, not really, no. I don't want to put too much on the pressure. I just want to play on the and hopefully that will be a good team. Okay, well thanks very much for joining us on the show. Best of luck for the season.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dorian Sports. I'm joined by the Western Australian coach and uh, former Australian all-rounder Tom Moody. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. Tom, it's been a, an interesting start for the Western Australian season thus far, a bit up and down. Uh, have there been any programs that you implemented to get some more consistency into the play? Yeah, look, we, we're obviously a pretty young side, and um, you know, with that, uh, you, you have to wear a little bit of pain. Unfortunately, we're playing quite a strong New South Wales side at the moment, so we are tested, particularly you know, uh, in the shorter form of the game that we played the other day. They certainly exposed the lack of experience in that. It's a very young side, but it's captained by Marcus North, who's a really experienced campaigner. You were quite uh, vocal about him being in the test side in previous years. Surely there's a, call, a, a case for him to be elected or put into that one-day side. Yeah, look, I think you know there is an argument that he could uh, offer some experience in that middle order, but you know, currently with Mike Hussey offering that role, uh, you know, Australia have got uh, you know some pretty safe hands, you know, in that uh, in that middle order with Mike. Also, you got to consider age as well. You know, Marcus is uh, just turned 30, so that's uh, that's probably going to work against him a little bit with regards to the shorter form of the game. There's a tendency to always be a a, a younger. A younger player in that role than uh, someone that's more experienced. Yourself, you've just knocked back uh, supposedly an offer from New Zealand to possibly coach them. Uh, are you wishing really to, to, to stay with the or in the Australian scene at with Western Australia? Yeah, look, yeah, absolutely. Look, I, I've got a young family, you know, 14 year old and a, an 11 year old, and, and you know, it's uh, international uh, coaching role is not. Uh, as attractive or as glorified as it actually is, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of time away from home, and uh, you know, I'd, at this stage, personally, rather spend more time, you know, with the family. Well, thanks very much for joining us in the show, okay. and best of luck for Western Australia for you. My pleasure. Cheers.